Right now, though, the time is 540. This Friday forecast coming up is putting a sour taste in my mouth. I'll it, tell you that. It, it definitely. I say, you know, we got Tasty Tuesday and Taco mm -hmm. Tuesday, but it's always humid Tuesday here in Central Georgia. Every day is humid day. <laughs> yeah, but, but today we've got lower humidity in store. We'll take for, it. Mm -hmm. At least for the time being. You know, yeah. just don't, don't get used to it. <laughs> it. It'll be similar to Sunday in terms of what we're going to expect across Central Georgia. It's humid now, but the winds are about to shift and come out of the north. That's going to bring in some drier air. The temperatures across the area, we're starting off in the mid to low 70s this morning as we do most summer mornings 71 in Warner Robins 73 in Macon 74 in Gray 69 in Monticello and 74 in Trutland County but here's what I'm talking about in terms of the humidity you can see this darker green that's in place across central Georgia here comes this northerly wind though and that's going to change things as we head through the day today we'll take a look at the dew point map here in just a moment the radar picture is quiet this morning and it's going to be mainly quiet as we head through the day as well here we are at about noon notice a few showers out over towards the Augusta area down towards Savannah we could see one or two perhaps in our northern counties once we get into the evening tonight, but overall about a 10% chance of rain with 90% of us staying dry. Could wake up to some sprinkles tomorrow morning as well before the scattered shower and storm activity returns. There we go through tomorrow evening. You saw that there with maybe some locally heavy downpours, but here we go into the end of the week. This dry condition is not going to stick around for a long time. And by the time we get into Thursday, notice we're back into this unsettled pattern and then especially on Friday, Look at that there. Both the GFS and the Euro in agreement of some widespread rain across central Georgia. This is at 5 p.m. at 6 around through the evening. So looking at maybe a soggy start to the football season here in central Georgia. Once we get into Saturday, not much change. We're still going to be looking at the scattered showers and storms, and that's going to roll into next week as well. So overall, about a 10% chance of rain today, 60% for Wednesday, 40% for Thursday, but then that's up to 70% there for Friday. I was sitting in the weather center this morning trying to figure out how to not put 70% on Friday, and I just could not find a way to do it. Here we go with the future view dew points through the day today. Again, here we are in the low 60s. This is going to be at 5 o'clock this afternoon. So while the temperatures, they're going to be in the low 90s, a dew point in the low 60s is going to make it feel dry outside. Still hot, but drier. And not to worry, though, the humidity will be back tomorrow again with that rain risk, and that's going to stick around through the end of the week here as well. Here today's high temperatures looking at mainly uh, talking about low 90s, 91 in Macon, 91 in Warner Robins, 90 in Irwinton, 87 in Eatonton, 91 in Rochelle, our average high for this time of year is 92. So pretty much on par with where we should be. And again, football Friday night. We're going to be watching this closely, looking at showers and storms for tailgating. Afternoon high temperatures only in the low 80s. Then once we get into the evening, looking at 70s for kickoff, sunset's going to be sometime right around 815. And then it's still going to be looking at a wet evening to round out the first week of for football Friday night. There it is. All right, here's your seven day forecast again. 90s today and then that's it. Looking at highs in the 80s each and every day from here on out. A 60% chance of rain tomorrow, 40% chance of rain for Thursday. And then once we get into the weekend, still hanging on to those rain chances with high temperatures trending back up into the upper 80s.